Sempre nella campagna Piccole Azioni in Grandi Persone vi forniamo un'intervista meravigliosa perché è una persona molto conosciuta anche in tutto il mondo, la Miss Trans Global. Lei è Mela Franco con cui abbiamo il piacere di oggi portare a tutti voi un bel messaggio di speranza in tutta questa settimana della campagna Piccole Azioni in Grandi Persone riguardante l'HIV e la lotta che si svolge in tutto il mondo contro questo flagello. Con lei parleremo in inglese, quindi vi forniremo la rispettiva traduzione. Welcome, Mela, again to Piccolo Magazine. We are very, very happy to meet you again. How are you? Thank you very much for the warm welcome. I did not understand anything that you just said, but I can feel that it was a good introduction. <laughs> but I do want to learn Italian. How am I? I am recovering. The Philippines um, just got hit by a very huge super typhoon. Our house got flooded, so it has been a whirlwind of experience in the last three weeks. But my family and I are safe, and that's what matters most, and we are slowly getting back. We are regaining our strength again. Wow, wow. Very. I cannot imagine how could it be because... Uh, Just in TV is so, so, so really difficult. But we know that you, your country is um, a very hard, very um, strong people. Thank so, you. Yeah. Nella, this interview, uh, we want to know, we want to this uh, interview to you because we want to know What do you think in this week uh, with all the activities in the whole world um, with the HIV uh, fights and what do you think about this? Well, you know what, Daniel, we are experiencing a pandemic right now, COVID-19, but um, HIV is also considered to be a pandemic as well. So we are experiencing a twin pandemic, as we can call it. And the fight to HIV has been a long uh, ride for, for the world. However, I'm very happy with the developments right now with the education towards awareness, the education in to fight the stigma um, that has been wrapped around with HIV and AIDS. And I'm very happy to be seeing more and more advocates standing for the people living with HIV and AIDS, telling the world that um, HIV is not a death sentence, but rather this is something that we should address because people living with HIV still have a life to live and all they need right now is care and support from us. Very interesting words because this is really, HIV is not a, a sentence of that. So uh, in your opinion, what is the most important aspect to talk about uh, the HIV, education or prevention? I think both um, are really important things that we should talk about. First and foremost, we have to protect ourselves. We have to make sure that we practice safe sex every time we engage with our partners. Um, I think it's a must for us to be able to take good care of our bodies and make decisions that will also take care of others' health as well. Protection will always allow us to um, take good care of other people, to take good care of our future, and to make sure that Uh, we will be able to address the pandemic that we are experiencing. Uh, we have been experiencing through decades of, um, of discovery of HIV and AIDS. That's why alongside protection, education is also a must for us to see that there are means for us to alleviate and mitigate the number of um, cases Uh, that we have seen yeah. so far. And at the same time, education will also allow us to progress with how to deal with uh, and interact with people living with HIV, 
to interact with people not living with HIV so that we can, we can harmoniously accommodate each other, whether it be family, workmate, your friend, um, an acquaintance. It is a must for us to be able to just embrace each other without really degrading and without really deducing um, someone just because he, she, or they have HIV. I think we must um, see um, each other as someone whom we could coexist with. And our experiences of strength, of resilience can always contribute to um, ra to be able to raise the feeling and give comfort to uh, people living with HIV and AIDS. Excellent, you're right, really. Uh, you know that Pico the Magazine is carrying on a very interesting program, a very interesting campaign called a Little Action with per Great Persons. So we are searching for uh, all people that want to collaborate uh, giving their opinions, their desires, their message. So right now, uh, Mela, in your opinion, what is the principal, what is the main challenge in the world against this fight against HIV? One is, uh, one is really the stigma that is attached to HIV. That is the biggest fight that we must able to win over with. Um, I think because of the stigma, there have been um, cases in which we've seen uh, people living with HIV lose hope. Um, there have been um, cases in which uh, people living with HIV were deprived of opportunities that they still deserve in life. More importantly, uh, because of the prejudice that we have been throwing um, against people living with HIV and AIDS, um, we ourselves have also become, uh, have also become um, clueless towards dealing with the illness itself. So I think um, we must continuously converse about it, talk about it, yeah. um, talk freely about it, most yeah. especially here in the Philippines, sex is a taboo. Uh, we, 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 we do not talk about it freely and we do not talk about it in a very objective and in a very uh, mature manner because uh, people see sex as something that shouldn't be talked about. Um, I think we are at a point in which maturity is very important that one, sex is a need. It is a physical need. And two, um, sex is um, a part of human experience. Um, and number three, if we talk about it, then we learn how to do it properly, how to engage with our partners properly, how to give pleasure to one another properly, and how to protect each other from any type of sexual disease. Yeah, really, really, it's like you say this because the silence is the silence is the main sentence of death to be silent it's time to talk freely as you say so to end this interview that we are really really happy to be here with you as miss trans global what is the message that you want to carry on in the whole world as the queen Miss Global Queen, <laughs> Miss Trans Global. Thank you very much for acknowledging uh, the Queen and me. And thank you very much for putting so much weight into believing that as Miss Trans Global, I can carry a message um, that can um, transcend people, not just their um, minds, but more importantly, their hearts. Um, as Miss Trans Global, it is my a responsibility to be able to um, amplify uh, the issues and plights of every LGBTQ plus member. And one of these issues and plights is battling HIV AIDS. Um, I am very happy that the Philippines is uh, now growing in terms of the discussion. And in fact, in the next three days, I will be hosting an HIV summit um, here in the Philippines in which we will be discussing the developments. We will be discussing the things that can be done because 
um, it is um, we are aiming that by 2030 we will be able to flatten the HIV curve. And that being said, I think that the platform being given to me right now is a great way for me to be able to learn. And as I learn, I will be able to educate others as well, inspire others as well, and be able to um, just lessen the level of stigma being attached to HIV and AIDS as an illness. Uh, most importantly, um, I do hope that during my reign, I will be able to uplift the spirits of um, those who are being looked down just because they are people with HIV. I know of some who are um, living with, uh, with the virus, but they are very strong. They're very strong, they're very brave, they're very courageous, and they are still living their lives to the fullest. And that is one manifestation, and these are the stories that I would like to tell and the world, uh, and the world to hear. Because through these stories and through these um, uh, manifestations that um, life goes on and life yeah. becomes beautiful, when there is bravery and courage within a person, um, I think everyone will see that HIV is just a sickness and that sickness can be cured. Yeah, really. Congratulations for all your work. Really, all people deserve the best in the whole world, in, the, in her life, in their lives. So thank you so much, Mela Franco, Miss Trans Global in this interview talking about HIV. So we send you our best regards now and then in all that activities that you will be doing in these days. And we are here always for you to give you this voice that you have for all world. So your message will be carry on in some language. So you can be sure that your voice will be really listened. Thank you very much, Daniel. I just want to thank the Cole Magazine for giving me this platform to be able to discuss these types of issues. And thank you because you are a strong force of our community. As we say in the Philippines, Mahigpit na yakap para sa yo, Daniel, and that means our warmest hugs we give them unto you. Piccolo Magazine, auguri, auguri e tantissimi abbracci, Mella. Bye. Maraming salamat. Paalam. Bye. Ciao.